Hello everybody, this is Beastcat100 and welcome back to some more Apollo Justice Ace Attorney Turnabout Serenade. In the previous episode, we had finally brought out the connection between the lighter and the switch. But, it seems like Gavin has a little counter-argument to our theory on how the events of the case took place. We're gonna find that out now. If you like what you see, leave a like down below, comment if you have anything to say. Subscribe to me if you haven't already, and share with your friends so they can join in on this investigation. Let me tell you why your little fairy tale makes no sense at all. Sounds good, I'll give you that. Giving us a reason why the killer both bothered following the lyrics of my song. But I question your logic. What's flawed from the very beginning? Flawed? Contradiction in your forehead, one I pointed out several times, no less. Time of the crime, the small window at the scene was closed. I can more have heard a voice through it. Oh. Now that you would like to divert our attention from this critical fact, but you're basing, but you're basing your entire line of reasoning on a false premise. Right. Moore's testimony is my entire case. That voice she heard, the shooter's voice. What if she couldn't hear it, Apollo? Look, what do we ha what do we have? A man saying press the switch. And near the crime scene we have a switch, which acts as a remote trigger for an igniter. And last but not least, Prosecutor Gavin's flaming guitar. Can't all be coincidence, but how do I make it work? See more direct line of questioning is required. The crime scene was investigated immediately after the crime. The window was closed. Can you tell us how Lamar heard the voice? Oh. Good part of part. But the doctor, can you explain this to part? Hey, Justice, you've got one thing to prove and only one. Lamar heard her voice, and she heard it during the second set. Think, how was Lamar able to hear the voice? Um. No, they said that the window was clo- During the second... set. She was somewhere else. When we investigated the scene, the window was closed. The shooter had no reason to close it had it been opened either. Meaning it was impossible to hear the voice through that window. Good to hear you making sense, Ken. For a moment I was afraid you might be a Borginian too. As I was saying, Lamore could not hear the voice through that window. So there can only be one explanation. She heard the voice from another location entirely. But <laughs> You do amuse me so. Here I thought you and Good Sense were back on speaking terms. I'm afraid you and Good Sense speak two entirely different languages. Only interpret for your air forehead. The more clearly stated she heard the voice through that small window. There's only one small window at the scene. Are you sure? Think about it. Isn't there another small window at the scene? Th there is. Why don't that look? He wants to ask him. Ask him, ask him. Very well. The claim of my heard the voice from another location. But we got this small boy that's like him watch. More heard the voice from here. It can only be one thing. Ah, eh, fuck you. Take that! This is where Lamore heard that voice from. But that's a small window! But for everybody! What did she tell us? She said she's a Borghinian unfamiliar with our language. It's not a stretch to imagine that she called this air vent a small window. You've done it. You've gone beyond ridiculous and into ludicrous. So Lamar was up in the ventilation system listening to this man's voice. It's the only logical explanation, yes. Logical. I don't think the word means what you think it means, Air Forehead. Okay, what about this isn't logical? Ha! <laughs> that only merits saying. Why would Lamar be in the ventilation system? 
I'm like a rat, no offense intended to hurt, of course. The explanation for that is simple, Prosecutor Gavin. Isn't it, Lamore? You've been listening to our discussion here, yes? Yes. I admit it had been quite confused since yesterday. Yes, the small window was closed. But why should that mean I could not hear through it? I hear fear our prosecutor might himself need an interpreter. Ah! Problem here is words. Lamar, this small window through which you heard the voice. Was it up high on the ceiling of the room? Not on a low not low on a wall? Yes, it was up on the ceiling. What? What no? We're going to find a statement for a report. Why are you not saying that you were up above the ceiling in the room? That's why you heard the moment of the plot. Yes, in fact I was. I'm sorry. I never imagined that it would become such an important point. Yes, well, why the heck were you up there? Well, it's time for another testimony. I, I'm not sure, I, I can't. My mind is just a murder plot, we have a testimony. Tell us why you bought that this time from a bunch of feelings in that room. Please. Well, looks like I'm on the right track. Above the ceiling. I was above the ceiling when I heard the voice. I heard it. I heard her, there was a, a small window there before. I was in the middle of my performance. I had no time to report what I heard. As to why I was there, I cannot say. I am bound to secrecy on this matter. My line of work one has one many obligations to uphold. But you said you were in the middle of my performance. Or did this happen during the second threat? I did not witness the crime, you must understand. I only know what I heard. That's yeah, what you are tell us what you were doing in the detail. That's what the cross examination is for, is it for it? Our mission is to go in this court is to discern the truth. No obligation, no binding pact, no may handle that mission. Very well. Mr. Protect, you are beginning to cross examination. What are you going to do, Apollo? Going to find out the truth. She was up above that ceiling for a reason. I just have to get it out of her. Yes, I was above the ceiling when I heard the voice. I had heard there was a small window there before. It was in the middle of my performance. I had no time to report what I heard. That's why I was there. I cannot say. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, nothing there. You heard the gunshots during the second set, during your performance. You're quite sure. Yes, why, do, why would I tell you about this time? Why didn't the tell us about today? No one asked me. I thought you all knew. Uh -huh. I told you Maki was not the killer. I told you this many times. Yes, you did. But you never told us why. I'm sorry. I was not able to speak of it. Unable or unwilling. She's not talking to Paolo. What do we do? We'll just have to prove it ourselves. As long as she's bound by the pact of silence, she won't talk. But if I can prove why she was up there, she'll have to admit it. How are you going to do that? She was singing on stage, Apollo. She couldn't have been up about the ceiling, too. Yes, yeah, she could. I've got a theory as to why, too. And maybe I've got the evidence to prove it. Lamar, the truth be told, the reason for your presence above the ceiling is quite clear. Especially when you consider what happened during your performance. What happened? Yes, it's all right here on this video. She sings, she sings, she sings. We can see the, the the igniter starting to go off. We can see when the switch was pressed. Or not. Okay, that was just a visual glitch. Whatever. Um, Lamar disappears. And that's 
when the guitar starts to burn. And just like that, she's on the other side of the room. Gavit's like, damn it, why? As we can see, Lamar was clearly not on stage for an entire performance. You know, it saddens me to just be so realistic. Lamar is incapable of actually vanishing, let alone teleport. So the only explanation is that she was hidden from view. And during that time, she moved to the back of the forum. Paolo? What, Trucy? It's not nice to reveal Misha's secrets, and it's against the rules. But I'm a lawyer, I'm not supposed to be nice. This was his concert, his show. He knows how the illusion was performed. Aha! He's just realizing it is his own oversight. Let's look at the cross-section diagram again. Here we can trace a route to the, through the ceiling. Goes from the stage through the back, um, yeah, through the backstage to the rear of the forum. Ah! Recall Lamore's testimony from yesterday. I was on my way from the stage to the backstage exit. There was something like a little window there. That's how I saw it. One point of sight to backstage exit. The perfect description of the three of them feeling. Lamore knew this because it, of. Knew of this because of her part in the illusion. But she wasn't the only one who knew. What? Just now in the lobby, Maki told me something. I know. I know if I open and vent, I can leave stage and back backstage. He said that? Oh, were you not informed, Prosecutor Gavin? I know about the vanishing out, of course. Yeah, I had no idea of the route that would be used. Why didn't that magician tell me? Magicians only reveal details as they act on a need to know basis. They are the bread and butter of a magician's life, you know. Which is why he bound Lamore to secrecy. Well, Lamore? I'm impressed, Mr. Returny. Maki was right about you. The part of the man! I find that you made right about the fatal? I did. Well, look. But I'm sort of all confused. Why is that, Your Honor? I was done before. There's very little time between what she took to and what she took to her. I was fucking pot. How could it do that so fast? I think she's got to hit a student voice. That, that's a good question. Am I not find her in court? I cannot. Oh well, you forgot that? Well. Yes? I'll tell you, do your thing. Uh, what thing, Your Honor? You need to explain how Lamar was able to control for what you did. Well, I'm telling you a case of a bunch of bad water. I don't like get picked on. It's Lamar who isn't going along with the program here. I've stated before, I'm not at liberty to speak of the illusion of night and detail. But no, you have to tell us what you can. We are in touch money about it. But that's it, it will be your time to bring the truth out of her. If you would, please. Right. I feel like a student before finals. Good luck, Apollo. The Big Illusion. Follow the route exactly as I, as I was instructed. There's an emergency exit in the backstage where the stage had lit it. From there, one can enter the forum on the opposite side of the stage. The plan was for me to move there in two minutes. I was on my way, way when I heard the voice. So much of that. That's my blueprint. suppose it was too much to hope that the judge would come up with something. But when my car blocked on it, take it away, Mr. Doctor. Right, Your Honor. All I have to do is find the contradiction between what Lamore is saying and what we can see plainly in the video. Figured already, I'm a magician after all. Well, tell me. Not a chance. I can't reveal another magician's secrets. Come on. 
Hey, you're supposed to be on my side here. Okay, so it was obvious. Exactly, I was instructed. There was an emergency exit and backstage where stagehand waited. From there, one can enter the forum on the opposite side of the stage. Time was for me to move there in two minutes. I was on my way when I heard the voice. No, that's not possible. You just said throw the switch. Well, I guess. I. I don't know. Wait, hold on. Let's take a look at the diagram again, real quick. Okay, no. That definitely was the igniter going off. No, the, the voice said throw the switch beforehand. Okay. Yeah, no. Oh, bullshit! Two minutes? Yes, it can be done in one minute if you're running. Running? In that cramped dark tunnel above the ceiling? Haha, <laughs> Mr. Attorney, have you forgotten? Dark or late, it makes no difference to me. Ah, uh, that's true, but... So burn that on the contract, we made the prep at home, huh? Yes, though I nearly didn't make it in time. You see, I stopped halfway. Mort disappears on the video for 20 seconds. She says she made the trip in two minutes. How? My professional opinion, I'll bet the answer's right there in that video. Evidence explaining the discrepancy. There's one piece of evidence that explains the discrepancy. There is. I was kind of hoping someone else would jump in at this point. Well, you see, the judge, I do it to spoil the mood, but I haven't the faintest idea what he's talking about, and neither does he. I'm not confused with Taylor there, Apollo. Right, by which I conclude that I was wrong. Better luck next time, Pollywag. I'm going to pop off with part of my mode. Is that a tear I just saw in the judge's eye? Alright, nothing to do but we think this through. He's in the video somewhere, I'm sure of it. Nope, it is not it. It is not it. Alright, let's start pressing things. And it was Darian's voice you heard? Yes, I'm certain it was him. Might have best left for Landers, huh? That foreign of yours to work on this illusion first. Hold on, I think the identity of the killer is a little more important, don't you? I'm used to trying to avoid the problem in my hand, Apollo. Avoid the problem? This is a murder trial. The killer is the problem. Contradiction between Lamar's testimony and the video. Unraveling an illusion can't be so difficult to unfold. 
solving a normal case, right? I'm not telling that even if you make those puppy dog faces. Fine, fine. How did you uh, proceed along this route? How? Well, I, I walked. But you arrived between the four much too fast to have been walking. Tell the truth, Lamora. You rode some kind of vehicle. What vehicle? What vehicle? Novel idea. I like it. That's not a bad guess. Wrong, but not bad. Haha, ha, yes. Laugh for the dumb attorney. I don't mind. <laughs> Sorry that the girl is right. The vent was much too small for vehicles. It's a tight fit, even though I had to crouch to walk. I cannot imagine a vehicle would fit in such a small space. It wasn't a vehicle. What was it? Don't play that one. Too bad. Why don't play that part? I don't feel like I'm on some kind of quiz show. Did everyone on the concert staff know about the trick? Not all, but the few that were needed to help. See, like I said, it's on a need no basis. So not many people knew about the trick. But where's this plane had the part to go? One needed to open the emergency exit. The door to the stands is locked, but once through there. So when you came back out, you were behind the audience? Yes, that is how it worked. A bad show if I do sales to myself. It's like a valid for you, the old Grammary touch. I'm real, you were on the 20th record. How's it possible? That's the part I don't get either. <laughs> yes, it would be hard to go so far in only 20 seconds. Plan was for me to move in two minutes. Okay, what happens if I say that there's no evidence? What kind of evidence could prove that? What's your professional opinion about this one, Trucy? Sorry, I don't work in evidence. And I don't work in tricks! I'm an attorney, not a magician, for crying out loud! Lee, I'm sure Daddy would have loved working on this. Thanks, that makes me feel oh so much better. I'm not letting this crowd go any further until we get to the bottom of it. The part will continue to request my advice when coming up to Mantle. Easier said than done. Ugh, <sighs> fine. It's probably, it's probably obvious. We don't... Nope. 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 Nope, 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 nope. Shh, great. Fantastic. God damn it. I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> Clearly, I have the evidence. What is it? Just, just end it. <laughs> God damn it. Lamar, do you happen to remember this brooch? Well, the brooch! We saw that message, did we not? It's found at the scene, Your Honor. You're bringing this up now, why? So we had already determined what that, when that was dropped. So did I, but we hadn't. Take another look at the video. Oh, 
she has the brooch when she's there and she doesn't when she returns, right? Is that where we're going with this? <sighs> yep, here you can see she's wearing the brooch. Don't forget. But well, let's look a little bit later. Look, the brooch is bomb! What? Yes. The brooch disappeared in the short space of 20 seconds. It takes a full minute to run from the stage to the backstage. Which means there can only be one explanation. The more we see in the finishing act and the more we see afterwards are two different people. What? What? Where are we, we go we're going this route again? Come on. Well, I shouldn't say again. I guess it's the first time of this instance, but it's not the it's not the last time we're, we're gonna see this stupid trick. Whatever. Not just on the floor, but on the floor directly beneath the air vent. But more, tell me. Did you drop the brooch on your way from the stage to the backstage? At the very moment you witnessed the crime? Yes, I think I did. <laughs> Your expression. I gather you had no idea this was the case there, Judge. I, of course, knew about it. B what? Don't get me wrong, I wasn't hiding it. It just never occurred to me. But the switch and the shooting took place at the same time. So, I was right. There was a switch. It was. Just before the stage's tower rose. Lamar was replaced. Well, well, stop it. Guess who was the replacement for Lamar? The man behind the illusion, Valen Grimiri. It was Grimiri? That's quite the illusion, but I don't get one thing. Yes? The switch happened before the tower rose, correct? So you weren't on the stage. That's right. But this, uh, fake Lamar is still singing. She's pretty good. What pro? Come on, Apollo. That's an easy one. Pre recorded? They were just playing a recording. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gavin is on some kind of air guitar band for all in. Oh? You mean I'm Ron? When we play a show live, we play live, no recordings. Perhaps you can explain, Lamar. Very well. What? Look, pal. I'm out of place for more. Oh, good. I had to keep singing even while I moved. Hold it! You were singing? Yes, Mr. Gavin expressed a dislike for recordings. So I used this. Wait, so you were singing the whole time? Even while you were craw crawling above the ceiling towards the backstage? Why should that matter where I go when I sing? Or where, where I sing? Whenever where I go is in the same darkness. But if we were playing them under a marker. That's right. Wouldn't the shooter and the victim have heard? She was seen right over their heads, after all. That is right. You sure. You have to be pretty hard of healing, hearing to miss someone singing in the ceiling. Can't we come back to the state of the scene of the crime? What state? Uh, I know what he means. The old speaker, Apollo. The speaker? The speaker was blaring at the time. The speaker was blaring at the time of the murder. That's for monitoring the stage from this room. Monitoring? Pipes in a real-time feed from the stage's microphones. Useful for knowing when your set is coming up. Satisfied? Dressing room is fitted with a large speaker playing the direct feed from the stage. My request, actually. So Lamar singing in the ceiling sounded just like Lamar singing over the speaker. The goodness, I'm back at home. I was! <laughs> Lamar? I have just remembered something. Oh, pal! When I heard the noise, the gunshots, yes? Startled me, so I... So you... I stopped singing. What? I forgot the words I was supposed to sing. The song stopped? Thankfully, it was the very beginning of the second verse. Not many would have noticed. Boy, that mixing board I let you, where is it? The mixing... Huh? The machine, Apollo. The one that breaks music into tracks. Oh, this. I completely forgot about it. 
Let's take a listen. song does stop there. Well, why am I from Metro? Look at the lyrics sheet at the top of the second verse. See where it says pleasure, pleasure? Now listen again. Day. I believe we're close to making a barber on the spot. Crime didn't happen during the third set. It happened during the second, during Lamore's ballot. Of course. But not more afraid during this market that could have been clear. Which means that Derry Crescent could have done it. He was on stage for he wasn't on stage for the second set. Well, prosecutor Gavin? Fascinating. I don't believe I have ever seen a trial turn around so quickly, or quite so thoroughly. Only one problem remains. What's that part, Critter Goblin? My forward theory does have a certain kind of logic to it. It is entirely based upon Lamar's testimony. That's their problem with what? It's quite simple, though it pains me to say. Oh, she's lying to protect the defendant. But you have no proof! What I'm saying is that the truth is yet in, is yet in clear. To me, hear directly from the man himself. And Bob, from my brother. Yeah. There is a friend and band member, Darren Kusen, must take the stand. It's in no other way. Don't let the new protector on the pit. It's a suspect, to be frank. Finally, the rat's coming out of his hole. And I'm ready to catch him. Darren Kusen, get ready for justice! The good time of days will for a big break time. Pop getting more summer to what? I don't hear him better by the time we book it. The last man who needs to be reminded of what his duties are. My well, for the time for talking about a breakdown. Alright, we're gonna end it off here. <sighs> Gotta think outside the box in these cases. I didn't even think that the brooch was gonna be even relevant anymore. Oh well. In the next episode of Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney, we are going to head over to recess and head over to the next part of the trial. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.